In this tutorial, we will showcase how to create property flyers, a great way to promote each of your listings alongside your lending partner. Begin by logging into your Agent Advantage account. Then go ahead and click on the co-marketing tile within the dashboard or along the left navigation. Once you're here on the co-marketing page, go ahead and click Property Flyers. Now, a new page will load displaying all print marketing materials. And notice how you have the opportunity here to filter down based on the asset type, or you may even consider using tags. Maybe you're curious to know what's most popular right now, or you're looking specifically for editable templates, or maybe even information about loan products or programs. You might even consider using one of my personal fan favorites, the search criteria here at the top left of the page. Now, I'll go ahead here and search by the keyword property flyer using my blue magnifying glass to drill down the library. Now, one thing to note here, if you are looking for a property flyer with rates, be sure to ask your preferred lending partner. You won't see any flyers here in your version of Agent Advantage that include rates. Now, of course, there are several different template options available to you, and you may even consider using the carousel at the bottom of the page to explore additional pages worth of templates. Now, if at any point in time you wish to preview a flyer, simply click on the thumbnail image, and of course, you can get a closer look at that specific template. You also have the opportunity to use your blue actions button to view a sample PDF. Do also keep in mind that predominantly displayed here under each asset is the cost split for your reference. Now, once you've chosen your desired template, all you need to do is select actions and select. So again, actions and select. Now a new page will load and you can start by choosing your desired color scheme here from the color scheme dropdown if it differs from the default. Next, go ahead and select your preferred lending partner here under user profile. Now, if your MLS is properly integrated under your profile settings, your listings will automatically appear here on the right side of your screen. If not, you have the opportunity to search by MLS number or geographical location. We'll go ahead here and search by MLS number using our green magnifying glass to find that property. Of course, you may also consider expanding your search by using the listing status drop down here, and you could toggle to pending, sold, contingent, etc. Now, once you've found your desired listing, go ahead and click the blue select button, and then you'll go ahead and click the customize and publish button. Now, I do encourage you to update the media file name to reflect the name of the property so you can easily identify it in the future. I'll go ahead here and add in 4902 Woodhurst Lane to the front of the media file name. Now, next up, notice how the flyer is automatically populating here based on the MLS listing, and we can go ahead and zoom in to take a closer look. Now, you do have the opportunity to make desired edits. Notice here when I'm moving my cursor around that I am seeing shadow boxes on the images as well as these various text fields as well. Any field here that does display a shadow box when I hover my cursor over it is in fact editable. So for example, let's say I want to show some interior imagery. I can go ahead and swap out an image here on my flyer. I'll simply click once to open up my image library and notice here how it's now pulling in every single image from the MLS listing. I'll go ahead and select an image, perhaps of the dining room here, and click my blue Use Image button. I can go ahead and repeat that step for this second image here, and let's say perhaps we want to add a picture of the backyard. I can simply select it here from the MLS images and click my blue Use Image button. Next, scrolling on down, I can go ahead and update the property description here. I want to make sure I slim it down to make sure it fits here in the allotted space. So I'll go ahead and delete out the end of this. Of course, you can have free reign here to customize as you see fit. 
All right, now that that description is updated, we can go ahead and give a glance over the entire flyer. I'll simply zoom out here so I can see a glimpse of my flyer as a whole. And then if we're ready, we can go ahead and click the blue Save First Draft button. Now, when I click Save First Draft, it's also going to be available in my lending partner's Red Arrow Connect account in their saved folder. So they can actually come in and make edits if necessary as well. Once my co-marketing partner and I are ready, we're giving it two thumbs up, we'll just go ahead and click the blue publish button here and say, okay, yes, we understand. We can't make further edits once we publish this asset. Now automatically here, I am brought into my approved folder where I can use the blue actions button to either generate a PDF if I would like to send digitally or print locally, or I can choose the print and ship option if I would like hard copies sent to my office. Now, if I do choose the print and ship option, I am prompted to confirm my shipping information and I can go ahead and enter in here my desired quantity. Once I've entered in my quantity, I can go ahead and select my shipping services and click the blue calculate rates button. Here I can see a breakdown of the estimated cost and I can go ahead and check the box and hit the blue submit order button. Then I'll go ahead and pay my fair share with my credit card on file, which I can set up under payment methods. And then once both parties pay, both me and my co-marketing partner, this print order will be sent to the printer. If at any point in time questions arise, feel free to reach back to our dedicated support team. This now concludes our tutorial on how to create a property flyer.